Hi, Nicole. I want to thank you so much for putting your faith and trust in me. Here's what we're going to do. I'm laying down the foundation now. I know you have a bench at home, Swiss ball, agility ladder. I know you're doing some rollerblading, spinning bike. That's all great. I want you to do that as often as possible, pre and post. Um, the jump rope is key because I do have a, a jump rope in the beginning. I am going to actually do two separate videos for you. They're both going to be under your name. They're, you're both going to know when I upload them onto YouTube for you. So they're going to be very, very close to each other in regards to what I'm doing. You're just going to hear me talk and you're going to see different versions so that you could formulate your own plan. These are videos. This entire video is done in one day. Okay, this is one workout. I want you to do it a minimum of four times a week. I'm working on your nutrition program right now, trying to pick the healthiest protein foods for a vegan in regards to beans and rice and certain organic uh, soy products uh, that are a little more healthy than regular soy and um, some other uh, items I'm putting together. I'm going to send that as soon as possible. So digest this in bullet form. Send me an email if you have any questions or we'll just talk on the phone once you receive these videos. Thank you so much. And I'm with you to help you, to guide you, anything you need. Just let me know. We're about to go through a series of movements. Here's what I designed for you. Right now I'm just warming up my knees. I know you don't have an elliptical at home, so I don't expect you to do something like this to warm up. I need you to think about what's going to increase your inner core temperature. What are you doing? Are you running in place? Are you jumping rope? What type of a dynamic warm-up can you do so that you start to sweat a little bit. Let's say six to eight minutes. You're gonna do that before every single workout. This has nothing to do with the cardiovascular um, activity that you do on your off day. So let's go over some of the stuff that we have here for you. In the room, you're gonna see the camera shift to different positions. Right now we have two dumbbells on the floor. I know you have light dumbbells. This stick I bought at Home Depot. You see it in every one of my videos. I just have it there for a reference point. I do have a step, we can, I have an exercise mat, you don't really need it, you can lay on the floor. I have a medicine ball, very simple stuff, and obviously I have a shower towel right here, that's here. I do have a bench as well, not sure if you have a bench at home, but I'll show you another transition that we could do on the floor, like I mentioned in our email. So we're going to go over a series of movements, stay tuned, I'm going to try to explain them as best as I can. And don't remember now, when you see this and you go through the series, we're doing one series at a time. We're going to cut. That's your transition. I'll explain how we do it as we go along. Stay tuned. We're going to start with a basic squat. I have a bench behind me. I don't, I'm not sure. See, I didn't have the ability to assess your ability, your athletic skill set, to see if you could just perform a squat. I just want you to do a squat. I want you to look at my knees and I want you to look at my ankles. The center of your kneecap is straight down on the inside of your big toe. Okay, I want to make sure that you have proper axial alignment. I don't want your knees to buckle in. I don't want to fan out. Okay, I am beyond shoulder width. So look at the position of my feet. I'm going through 25 squats. Now, if you don't want to use the bench and you have that ability, that's fine too. We're just going to do basic 25 squats in a free motion. After the 25, we go right to the step. 20 step ups, non-stop. Okay, just tap, no pressure, tapping up. 80%, 90% of the pressure is right here on this leg, right here. This is a kickstand that goes back, tap, switch. This is non-stop. Just tap and switch, tap and switch, non-stop, 25, 25, 25 right, 25 left. We're over here, deep breath, step back into a lunge, never forward, step forward, step back into a lunge, step forward. Just follow me, step back, step forward, step back, step forward. We're doing 12 on each side, 12 on each side. Step back, step forward. Lead with the sternum, lead with the sternum. Okay, don't crumble, don't lean forward, don't let your rib cage drop and up 
and up. Watch the transition. Watch my feet. Come over. One foot in line with the dumbbell. Step back. Tap with the opposite hand. Opposite hand, opposite leg. Ten. Lead with the sternum. Yeah, you're going to see me winded. Don't tell anyone, please. Transition. Step back. Tap with the opposite hand. Opposite hand, opposite leg. Lead with the sternum. Look straight ahead. Try not to look down. Think about where your knees, knee is in relation to that big toe on the inside of it. Okay, we're winded. This is non-stop. Straight arm. Hold that perfect plank position. Your feet are wide. Stability. Okay. Come to the front, code. Tap. My hips don't move. You see my hips move? No. Do you see me rocking? No. Do you see me swaying? No. Down, down. Hold. Up, up. Tap. Tap. Down, down. Up, up. Tap. Tap. 10. Nine, eight, we're doing a total of 10. Nothing moves. Okay, your hips don't go in the air. Keep in that plank position. Rolling up a simple towel. You could be on the floor. It does not have to be a, 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 a mat. It's behind the small of my back. Feet are out. Come back. Reach up. Reach up. Reach up. Reach up. 25 reps. Non-stop. There's no rest here. Plenty of time to rest, maybe 40 years from now. Remove the towel, bridge position, hold, stable, lift your foot. You want to slide a piece of paper under your foot. It's a small march. Don't drop your hips. Don't drop your hips. Don't drop your hips. Down, up, press through the heels and the ankles. Look at my support in the upper body. Okay, forearms, elbows, inhale, exhale, exhale, stop, turn to the side. Get on your knees. Medicine ball, 15 pounds, ball slam. One, two, three, four. Five. The ball doesn't go over your head. Keep it here. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, that was one set. That was one. Yeah, did you hear me? That was one set. Stay tuned. We're gonna go over that. That series that you just saw, when I said it was one set, that's basically a circuit, okay? You're gonna go around, you're gonna obviously build up a tolerance to this, but you're gonna go around three times. So call that like your, a mini workout program. I'm gonna show you another right now. This is all done in one day. What you're seeing in this video is done in one day. These are not separate workouts. I want you to do this four times a week. Right now, we're trying to increase your metabolism, trying to build some lean tissue, so that you're more metabolically active. You've heard of a row, okay? Go to any sports store, make sure you get the tubing with the handles. You're gonna need an anchor, so you, this is where you become creative, because I'm not there, okay? So you have to just hook around anything about chest level. What we're gonna do right now is a basic row. A row, squat position, slight bend in the knee, almost as if you were addressing a ball golfing or you're playing tennis, 
You're going to drive your elbows back. Full retraction. Slow, full retraction. Slow, full retraction. It's not this. Okay, it's not this. It's not this. Straight back. This is what you see every time. Straight back. You're drawing your shoulder blades back. Shoulder blades back. Okay? Shoulder blades back. Once you have that down, I'm going to go through the, the actual exercise. Are you ready? Here we go. This is set one of another series that's done the same day you just completed those three. We're going to start with the squat row. Here we go. The same squat you did in the beginning. Squat first. Pull on the way up. Never pull on the way down. You see that in the gyms and fitness centers. Squat, pull, two, three, four. Don't let your shoulders be thrown forward. Don't crumble at the rib cage. Keep it up. Pull, pull. Notice my shoulder doesn't get pulled forward. After you do your squat pulls, watch my feet. Watch my feet. Jump, 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 light jump. Real mellow, jump, jump, pull, pull. Pull, pull when you're in the air. Pull, pull, pull. Perfect squat. Pull, pull, pull. Come on. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Relax. I go on the ground. Two dumbbells. Come back up. Don't cross your feet. Chest press. Arms go to the ground. Chest press. Breathe in. You have your legs off the ground. Okay, look at the position of my body. A small anchor system. Press, press, press. Right, left, right, left, right, left. If you're saying to me right now, I don't have any dumbbells, you're gonna go to the local sports authority store, any sporting goods store, and buy neoprene dumbbells. Get them in different colors. They'll match some things in the house. They'll look good. Nice and easy. Doing your chest press. Relax. Here's the hard part. Don't hold on when you let these go. Just let them go. Get some carpet or something to put them on. Next position. I have a small little step here. Figure it out. Two giant books. Two books that you haven't read all the way through. 600 chapters each. Towel. Same dumbbells for your hand grip. Straight, look at my plank position. Drop the knees. Watch what happens. Look at the pivot I'm making. Look at my toes come off the ground. I'm doing a press, but I'm shortening my lever arm. This is a lot easier than staying on my toes like this. Look at the difference, okay? This is up 10 notches. Guess what, if you could do this, then do it. If not, drop, pivot, 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 pivot. You're up. Another anchor system, yellow tubes. You see double, you could buy these online. Squat, straight, arm, pull, hold. Slow, pull, slow, pull. I want you to get creative. You're gonna get bored after 30 days. Get creative. Step back, step forward. Step back, step forward. Come on, slow, forward, forward, forward. Squat, pull, squat, pull, squat, pull, squat, pull, squat, pull. Straight arm. That was another series. Light dumbbells, towels, some tubing, very simple. Listen, you could create this stuff. You go out and buy a step, go out and buy a couple dumbbells, some rubber tubing. Hopefully you might have a flat bench at home. Maybe you have a, an exercise bench at home. This stuff works, trust me. So you have two different segments, okay? First segment, three sets. Second segment, three sets. Now, there's something I need to tell you. At the end of every segment, or at the end of the workout, I should say, make sure you go into a stretch. 
This is not a hamstring stretch. Spine never moves. Hold. Switch. Look, I'm flexing from the hip. Don't ever reach for your toes. You reach for your toes, that spinal flexion has nothing to do with the hamstrings. You're going to feel it in the hamstrings, but no more if you did this. Hamstring, spine. Okay, so stay there. Another great stretch for you. Sit here, piriformis stretch. Cross figure four, lengthen, flex forward. You'll feel this in the right glute and hold. Switch, flex forward. You'll feel it right here in the right glute, the piriformis. That muscle that's deep in the hip that pushes up against the sciatic nerve, a lot, a lot of impingement. If you lengthen that and relax that, it's going to elongate, hold. And then your typical quad stretches that you could do standing with a stationary base, perfect posture. Never grab the toe, grab the ankle. The foot should be free. Back, lengthen. None of this, none of that. Stand there. Lengthen your spine, hold. This is a quad stretch. Opposite side, hold. Stand as tall as you can. So make sure that you're stretching as well in this workout program. Let me know if you have any questions at all. Now, in between this, you could jump some rope. I left the cardio out. Let me know what you think. We can make a some corrections and if you need any help finding some of these items that you don't have at home please feel free to email me and please let me know your thoughts and feelings on this workout thank you so much for letting me support you in creating this workout program for you at home thank you talk to you soon